Hello everybody and welcome to this playthrough qualifying round edition for Master Division in the Nordic Fjords 9 Hole Cup. Video here is sponsored by Gold Clash and Play Demic. And before we start, make sure that you do hit the thumbs up button. Also, that you do subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. Follow the info box on the right hand side to get the club distance adjustment, elevation adjustment and also what ball and club type I suggest you to play with. You do not have to follow what I do suggest but there is always a plan behind it. Get the ultimate tournament guide for the qualifying round uh, for Master by going to patreon.com slash golf clash Tommy. Obviously, you will get uh, all the rest of the tournaments this month. Well, if you do have any questions or comments, make sure to post them in the comment section below or send in an email to support at golfclashtommy.com. Let's go to hole number one. Hole number one and we start off with a send it wind and we're gonna start with apoc 7 or apoc 8 to be fourth ring to the right the transparent ring by the rough line and we then apply spin which is two bars of side spin to the right i'm using 4.2 bars of backspin for a 15.1 mile per hour wind i'm using a berserker ball as well as you have probably noticed i'm gonna adjust max plus 10 once that is done, I'm going to push up 10 rings. If you do play with APOC 7, you push up 9.3 rings. And if you play with APOC 5 or APOC 6, you push up 8.5 rings. This as the accuracy is different on all those level of clubs. Then we go full curl to the right, right, max overpower with a slow needle and try to hit perfect. Great left and a great right will still be fine. But if you are lucky here, with this roll, we maybe could see ourselves dropping and hold one. Not something that I do count with, but look how close we are getting that one. So obviously that would taste really good to get an hole in one, but in the end we're looking to, to get as safe eagle possible. For hole number two, we're gonna start with the sniper and we are using a vintage ball which is power three, side spin one, wind resistance four, using one left spin and two and a half bar of top spin. Now you can see that I turned the screen around because now I'm looking to have the top right of the white ring by the sand. And once that is done, we change to the cataclysm and adjust with the cataclysm. Weird, but yeah, that is what we're gonna do. We play maximum distance plus 20 percent with the cataclysm regardless what level you're having so we are only using the sniper to set up the shot and then we are changing to the cataclysm at the end of the, you know before we make our adjustment perfect ball and then we will see the ball bounce nicely coming down towards the pin. Unfortunately, we just burn the edge on the left hand side. But the thing that I do forget with this type of shot is that I'm not using any 1159. We do want to use a flicker 1159 with our approach here to make the ball have the first bounce a little bit further back. Those of you that do want to spend a special ball here, like more than a win four ball you can use a three point ball or any type of win five power the power three ball if you want to and play the same type of adjust for a very good hole number three tough win this is going to be a tough drive to make here i'm use all i all my top spin that i do have and one bar of side spin right starting at plus 11 with the complete yellow ring inside the rough there too. Right. Once that is done, we shall adjust max plus 10 power fireball settings. One thing that I would recommend here though is to use the luminary ball if you do have the possibility to do so. If you have played master and got to the weekend round before, you will have the luminary ball in your bag because it has then side spin 2. And that side spin 2 could be uh, a real help here. Uh, especially if you do hit a great left because I would uh, I can say here now hitting a great left will most likely result into this ball getting uh, a roll into the rough otherwise you know I'm very pleased with how this shot comes as you can see again I don't think we have room for a great left there but a great right shouldn't be a problem whatsoever one top max top spin is what I'm using and the overpower I'm using the amount of overpower that I do adjust into so if I adjust four rings into overpower i use four rings of overpower second shot i'm gonna play this one to green 
I tried to push this one with curl, but to be completely honest, not having side spin two and not having a better angle here, this is gonna be purely an eagle shot. And just just make sure that you give yourself room enough to hit a bad great left and a bad great right, so you don't get yourself into any type of hazard and will then struggle getting the eagle. Because I think we're gonna see just a handful albatrosses on this hole uh, over all the players in the whole community playing and mastering the qualifying round. So it's not going to be something to be mad about if you don't get it or in, if you don't get it close. I'm using too much curl here, which obviously is going to be noticeable, obvious. You see here, bounce nicely on the fairway and, you know, speed you know, a little bit too much, but getting it there for a simple wedge from the fringe. Use the cataclysm for the second shot, give yourself the power. Those of you that do want to save down on the uh, on the power five balls, you could technically play this one with a Sterk. Obviously, the win for the second shot will be very difficult to handle as you're gonna have a lot of wind in your face. For hole number four, we are going to use the Firework 2021 ball. We're using max max, which means I'm going to use as much backspin possible with one bar of side spin to the right. And that means all the backspin boosts as well, which ends up with max backspin and an additional 3.8 backspin with the backspin boost and one bar of side spin to the right. Then we go to max distance. And as you can see there, I'm aiming approximately one uh, green square to or like two green squares to the right of the pin the thing that we do need to do is that you need to take the lamnic position that i'm using and move approximately half a green square to the left doing that will result in to be very close if so getting in the hole because there is a very forgiving spot at the top of the green where the ball fall back down and i've already had drops in the team after this uh, this shot was produced uh, by me here now. We're getting a zoom in though, but the most important part is that we're actually getting a chance on a very tough par, uh, par 3 in my opinion. You may be wondering what type of boost do we need to play. You don't have to have wind resistance 5, you can play with a wind resistance 4 as well. So that means that you can play with a quarterback ball, the new quarterback ball. You can also play with a stargazer ball, you can play with a firework ball, you can also play with the gargoyle ball as well. <coughs> and so there is a decent amount of options to actually play this type of shot with the backspin boost, which is absolutely brilliant in my opinion. Max plus 10 power 3 ball settings is what we're using, and we use the rocket as a club. Hole number 5 is a par 5, and we're gonna go for a full blast drive here. Even though it is tailwind, I'm not going to gamble and play with a globe here and try to get close to the green. I know there is a shot like that, but it's too much of again as a for too much of a gamble for me. I start at max half of the white ring outside the rock to the right with apoc seven and apoc eight. If you do play with apoc five or apoc six, you play with the fourth ring, transparent one to the uh, by the rough line to the right. Adjust max plus 10, then you push up to max. Here I'm using 6.5 bar topspin when playing with 12.7 per hour. If I would be having a higher wind, I would slightly reduce topspin the, uh, the higher wind that I'm getting. One ball of curl to the right, max overpower, try to hit perfect. The plan is to bounce on the fairway, second bounce into the rough, and then to roll out on the fairway. Now... We're looking to position ourselves for the B-52 rough bump. And this is actually a very good shot. So I'm looking at to have a fringe check, which is at the top of the fringe. Then I do have the plus three yard mark. And when it comes to the plus three yard mark, we're actually going to take a look at that, what we're going to play. I don't see correctly. 1.8 top spin, three bars of left spin, a ball guideline to the hole. And then we do have the adjust, which is... From the plus 3 yard mark, we play 34% slider, no elevation, power 4 ball settings. That is based on, you know, that is the drops adjustment that I do have here in the video. <coughs> and then obviously try to hit perfect in the end. 
Perfect. See here, it bounces nicely into the rough. It doesn't really give us the camera angle, so I don't really know how this is going to go. But we're getting that one right, that pin, for beautiful Albatross here on hole and number five. Good chance, and we can actually spend a ball that we generally don't spend, which is also a big plus. Hole number six, par four, and we do almost have a direct headwind. There's somewhat a southeast headwind here. Starting at plus six, blue ring by the rough line to the right, with APOC seven and APOC eight. And when it comes to APOC five, APOC six, we go with half of the blue ring inside the rough to the right. And we're going to talk about APOC five uh, in a little bit here. Adjust max plus 10, and then I'm using 5 rings of overpower with Apocalypse 7 and 8. If I would be having wind above 10 miles per hour, I would be going max overpower instead. Max top spin, 1 bar of right spin, and we do want to have that rollout that comes there. If we don't get that, then it's going to be a bit more uh, tricky in my opinion. Second shot, we play with the B52, and here we are going to look where minimum distance are. And count the rings from min so every ring uh, that we are going to uh, go with from minimum distance is equal one percent slider i know it may not be uh, you know exactly correct in terms of the algorithm but that is the way that we shall be playing this type of shot with a 30 percent elevation so now i am at the absolute very minimum distance and i do play minimum distance plus 25 in this example and now, in the end, I do hit a great left, which is helping me. But you could also see that I did offset to the left of the pin. And I think that is going to be something that is necessary, as the wind is going to push left, the green is going to push... Sorry, the wind is pushing right, the green is pushing right, and then the side spin pushing right. So we do need to aim left of the pin to prevent us from missing right, even though we have the correct adjustment. So, rings from min use 30% elevation instead of the 25 that I'm using there and the reason i'm dropping it right is because i come uh, i do in that case uh, under adjust my shot that's why we're increasing the elevation so if you do not have the b52 use the grizzly and use the same type of structure for the grizzly hole number seven if you do are just looking for a safe shot taking the birdie bounce off with your sniper or use the rocket as a backspin shot directly on the green but if you're looking to go for the hole in one this is the shot that you're gonna go three backspin three left spin with a power three ball this to find absolute minimum distance of your club then don't make the mistake like i did and change to a side spin two ball and then you're gonna have to rush it in the end so three backspin three left spin you will see that the third bounce is going over the left side of the cup once that is done we will in that case adjust and we're gonna adjust minimum distance with 10 percent over adjustment our three ball settings okay the way to find the landing position is once you have in that case uh, added spin you're looking to be an absolute minimum distance line of your club with once again the third bounce going over the left side of the cup I've been hitting great left and also great right and still clip the rough here but obviously with a bad great left or a bad great right there may be a risk that you do not clip the rough at all so have that in mind but with a perfect this one is going to be very close if uh, and if you are lucky in this case gonna get it to drop for an hole in one. Hole number eight, we're gonna play with the driver that gives us the most top spin, and hopefully you're gonna have at least apocalypse level six. I'm going to play this one with as much top spin possible, and I'm going to change to that in just a bit. Two bars of side spin to the left, and I'm starting at a plus 26 yard mark with the yellow ring to the left by the rough line. Once that is done, we will in that case, obviously, you can see here, I'm gonna change the top spin, but then we will adjust maximum distance again. Once we do adjust maximum distance plus 10, we will obviously take our shots. So we're going to use the left side of the ball to be just outside the ring to the left. And now we're just going to try to hit perfect. A great left will be fine. A bad great right may clip the rough. 
on the third bounce if you are very unlucky. But, you know, you can see there that we do have a decent room. Ball comes down nicely towards the green. We are getting a simple pot for an eagle. And the only thing that I would say here that if you do not have an, a pop 6 or better, then play with the Thor's hammer instead. Try to start at max, use its top spin. But instead of looking at the plus 26 yard mark and the rings, then try to use the second bounce as a reference instead. And it is very important that you give yourself a room when it comes to the uh, to the second bounce and the bunker, so you don't drop dead into the bunker with the second or the third bounce, because that would obviously result into a very tough eagle to get. Hole number nine. We're gonna play on the right hand side, and we're gonna play for the simplest of them eagles i'm gonna play with max top spin two bars of left spin with apoc eight if you do have a club that do have less than seven bars of top spin which is apocalypse five or below for an example then play with the thor's hammer instead and start at max and use eight bars of top spin because that is the amount that i'm using eight two bars of left spin and adjust max plus 10 a little bit of curl to the left left side of the ball halfway into the ring to the left and then try to hit perfect. We are looking to get the ball to bounce on the fairway and then roll as far down the fairway possible. But please don't be alarmed that if you don't get the rollout like I'm getting here, you are still you have still no issue to get to the final fairway path that we're playing there just before the water. Because now we are not playing for the green here. We are basically playing to get as close to the green possible without risking having the ball rolling into the rough at the top. Because even though the ball guideline shows us this ball is going to go short, please do not be fooled. Because if you use max top spin or more than seven bars, you will, in many cases, roll that ball directly into the rough at the top. Because there is a massive glitch roll here that we do need to take into account. So if we do play, not if, but when we do play this shot, if you are like somewhat close to max distance here, we play seven bars of top spin. If you are in complete max distance, then you play with six and a half bar top spin instead. I'm aiming with the ball guideline towards the right side of the top bunker to be able to use a decent curl. So I'm using around two balls of left curl. And last but not least, I'm using two rings of overpower if I do fall down from the cliff to compensate and and to stop myself from having to push up in the end. A lot of stuff that is happening, but please rewatch and you know rewind, check the video again. But I'm looking to play the right side for a simple eagle. Going on the left side, I've tried that playing with max overpower, both for the first and second shot, and I do feel that we can uh, have better chance for a safe eagle playing without any overpower for the drive and the second shot on the right. Thank you so much everybody for watching this playthrough for Master Division qualifying round in the Nordic Fjords 9 hole cup. The video is sponsored here by Gold Clash and Play Demi. Make sure to get the ultimate tournament guides for the qualifying round for Master or also for Expert by going to patreon.com slash gold clash Tommy. Bonus content for this 9 cup. Thank you so much once again for watching and good luck in your Gold Clash game.